Math Lady, and today's lesson is on rounding whole numbers. So let's take a look and see what that means. If I had the number 332, you can see I've written two number lines here. One that counts by 10, right? You'll see 300, 310, 320, counting by 10. And the other one, I'm counting by 100s. So if I said to you, I want you to round this whole number to the nearest 10. That means we've been looking at the top number line. So let's take a look. 332, where does that fall in the number line? That falls between the number 330 and 340, right? Okay, but let's see where exactly it falls. I think it would fall closer to the 330, right? Because it's only two away. So I'm going to put a little red mark here. So if we were going to round 332 to the nearest tens column, our answer would be 330. That is the closest whole number that ends in a zero that 332 is close to. Now what if I said, let's round the same number, 332, to the nearest hundred? Well, look at my number line down here. It's counting by one hundreds. We can see that 332 falls somewhere between 300 and 400. Let's go take a look where. Well, 332 is closer to 300 than it is to 400, so I'm going to put my mark right around here. So if I ask you to round it, the closest hundred that it's closest to is the 300. So there's a, a quick view of how to round. Let's take a look at some of the rules regarding rounding whole numbers. So here are the rules for rounding whole numbers. First, I want you to underline the place that you're rounding. So let's say I wanted to round this number, 4,538, to the nearest tens place. Round it to the tens place. So the first thing I want you to do is underline the place you're rounding. Three is in the tens column. Now, part two. If the number to the right is less than five, we're going to stay with that number we underlined. If it's greater than five, greater than or equal to five, then we're going to move up a number. Let's take a look. So we highlighted the three because that's in the tens column. We're going to look to the right. That number is greater than or equal to five. So we're going to move up a number. Instead of three, we're going to round this to four, five, four, zero. As you see, we went from three to four because the eight was greater than five. Let's try it again. Let's round to the hundreds column. So I'm going to erase this and I'm going to now underline my five. It says to look to the right. What number is that? It's a three. Well, a three is less than five, so we're going to stay with this five. And if we round, I'm going to squeeze it in here, our number is going to be four, five, zero, zero. We've rounded to the hundredths place. And now let's try it again with the thousandths column. So let's go ahead and under the, underline the number we're talking about. This is in the thousandths column. And we're going to look to the right and we see a five. Well, where does five fall? Five, it's greater than or equal to five, so we go up a number in the thousands column. So to round this to the thousands, the answer would be 5,000. There you go. Those are the rules for rounding whole numbers.